Thomas Trey Westbrook, medicine. Worldwide, over a million women will develop invasive breast cancer every year. Last year, nearly 400,000 died from the disease. You have splicing data, you have uh, the BIAS-C data. So At Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Dr. Trey Westbrook and his team are using cutting edge technology to find genes that play a pivotal role in cancer. He helped develop a genome-wide screening approach that identifies sensitivities in cancer cells. Through this technology, called RNAi screening, Trey has discovered that cancer cells have unique vulnerabilities. Exploiting this Achilles heel could lead to powerful treatments. What our laboratory has been focused on is trying to understand how a given cancer gene unveils a certain weakness for that cancer. And we've been uncovering those systematically uh, with the technologies we've developed uh, and then leveraging those into new therapeutic opportunities. Trey is particularly focused on triple negative breast cancer, any breast cancer that does not express the ER, PR, or HER2 genes. About 20% of breast cancers are triple negative and the outcomes are poor. My lab's been focused uh, really for the past seven or eight years now on trying to both understand what are the genes that are the culprits, the drivers of that disease, but also to unveil the weaknesses, the vulnerabilities of those cancers. Triple negative breast cancers are the most difficult to treat. Frankly, that's the area where we have the greatest need for under understanding basic mechanisms as well as key targets. For Trey, the fight against cancer is personal. During a span of 18 months, while working on his postdoctoral fellowship at Harvard, his brother, mother, and father were each diagnosed with cancer. Trey's dad died less than two years later. I wish I had more time with my dad. I uh, wish I had received more of his mentorship as I got older in life, uh, but I think it set me on a path uh, that I've been um, very passionate about and maybe hopefully early enough to make a difference. When it touches you personally, it moves into really a mission that passes beyond just the professional. And, and I think that that very much adds to, to, to the, the passion with which he pursues his studies. There are encouraging signs of progress. Three of Trey's discoveries have led to therapies in development or in clinical trials. Also, breast cancer may not be the only cancer impacted by Trey's research. Many other cancers, including lung and prostate, could benefit from targeting cancer weak points. My mother is a great reminder that the clock's still ticking for other people. Uh, it gives us a lot of hope, uh, but certainly the, the, the victory is not ours yet, so we're still working on it.